and to recognize the importance of studying dates in history. History is synonymous with dates. It's about changes that take place over a period of time. A record of important incidents and events that shaped or shook the world. You will find that some events, like Independence Day, have a precise date associated with it. However, some events, like the National Movement, is not associated with specific dates as it took place over a period of time. Why then do we still associate history with dates? You see, dates by themselves are not important. They gain significance when they are associated with an important event. In the past, India was ruled by kings who fought battles and whose actions altered the life of the common people. Thus, dates began to be associated with important events like the crowning of a king, his marriage, the birth of his first child, the battles he fought, his death and the crowning of the next king. A new set of dates related to our independence movement, like the date of the Jallianwala Bagh massacre, Dundee March, and other such events gained importance in our recent past. History is a subjective study of events that occurred in the past. For example, in the year 1782, when Robert Clive asked James Rennell to create paintings on India. He drew this picture which suggests that the Indians willingly handed over their ancient texts to the British and requested them to protect the Indian culture. The fact, however, is that the Indian rulers were never happy with the British rule and fought a number of wars to protect their kingdom from being taken over by the British. Thus we see that each historian has a different perspective to an event, and as such, each account of an event is true from that particular person's perspective. According to British historians, history of British Raj in India is all about the lives of the different Governor-Generals of India. It begins with the first Governor-General, Warren Hastings, and ends with Lord Mountbatten, the last Viceroy. Whereas an Indian historian focused on India's development under the British Raj will write about the lives of the common people, their means of livelihood, the food they ate, the clothes they wore, and continue with the changes in social norms. This account will be very different from the one written by the British historians. However, both these views on history are correct. To help us shape a story as true to the truth as possible, we referred multiple records containing different perspectives. As we obtain more information, new dates will gain significance and old dates will no longer be significant. However, to make sense of the events and to maintain a record of the sequence in which they occur, and for better understanding of the bigger picture. It is imperative that we keep track of the dates on which the events took place. Thus, dates are an integral part of the study of our past.